Hi, welcome to the Cooper Cricket Workshop. Today we're going to cover off how to apply our stump stickers to new and old stumps using our sticker stump jig. If you don't have your own stickers yet, you can certainly jump on our website. Uh, the links are all in the description below. And on our website you can design in 3D um, whatever stump stickers that you want. And uh, it's a great way for you to be able to you know, get some branding on stumps or maybe get some sponsors or just look a little bit more professional on the field. Okay, so you're gonna need the stump stickers, the stumps, a spray and wipe or a general cleaner, a couple of rags or cloths, our sticker stump jig and a sharp pencil. Okay, let's start with the old stump. So this one's had stickers on it before. We've peeled them off and you can see a bit of shadowing there. Um, but what, what we've got here is a bit of surface dirt that we need to just try and get rid of. It's not too bad, but of course, if you're dealing with stumps that haven't had any stickers on them at all, they've probably got all of this surface dirt across the whole stump. So the easiest way to do it is to just use a little bit of spray and wipe or cleaner and uh, cloth, uh, give the stump a light spray, and then use the cloth just to rub off any surface dirt. You'll know if you've got some on there because it's obviously gonna come off on your cloth. Um, and so you wanna get it so that there's no more surface dirt on the stump at all. Remember, the stickers are only as good as what they stick to. So if there's any surface dirt left on there, that's what they're gonna to stick to. Being cleaned, ensure that there's no more water on the stump at all. If you need to, you can put it out in the sun to let them dry out or wipe it down with a towel. Um, we just can't have any damp wood for the sticker to stick to. When you're working with a new stump, these are really easy. They may have got a bit of dust on them here and there. Um, so you just need a dry cloth to uh, wipe that surface dust off and then you're ready to go. Okay, now that we've got all the uh, stumps clean, let's talk about the sticker stump jig. We've created this to ensure that the stickers can go on nice and straight onto each stump. Makes it really quick and easy to mark out the stumps and anyone can use it. So let's start with the biggest um, part. It's got a thing at the back here that it lines up the notch in the stump for the bale. And when you put the stump in there, you'll be able to line it up perfectly so the stump's nice and straight. What that does is that we've got a channel here that allows our pencil to come through and mark a center line. Next, we start with the smaller one. This one also has a notch for the center line. And it's also made to a specific width so that you can mark it out and start your stickers at the same point on the stump every time. So once these are both on, our stump is perfectly lined up and perfectly centered. We can then mark each end. Make sure you don't just mark in the center, but you also mark across here so that you know where to start the sticker. Once you've done that, you've got a perfect center line down the stump, which is lined up to the bale so that when the sticker goes on, your design will go perfectly down the front of the stump. You've also got your starting line to start your sticker and we'll cover that in the next step. Okay, now once we've got those marks done, we then have a couple of little cradles for the stump to sit in so the stump doesn't roll away when you go to put the sticker on. Just ensure when you place it down, our center line is facing to the top. So when you get your stickers from us, you'll have a center mark at each end of the sticker. So you'll see a mark there and a mark there. This is what we line up on our stump. Okay, so when you're starting to put the sticker on, you'll just peel off the entire backing. Hold it at each end with your thumb and forefinger. Hold it nice and tight and then line it up, ensuring that your the bottom of your sticker lines up with the mark that you've made and the center line lines up with the center line on the stump. Rub it down slightly at the bottom so you've got a sticking point. Once you've got the bottom stuck, you can now hold it with two hands and line up the top. 
still keep it um, taut so that it's nice and straight when you line up the top mark. If you put the sticker down and it's slightly crumpled or crooked or it's not perfectly straight, don't stress. This is a high grade sticker material that we're using and so it's got air release channels on the back and it's meant for bubble free application. So if you run into any problems, just hold one end and peel it up nice and quickly, okay? Given that you've held one end tight, it's still in the right spot. So then you just reline it up at the other end. Once it's positioned like that, pick up the stump and go from the center out. And with your thumb, go to the top. And then on the same line, go all the way to the bottom. Once you've got the first part stuck down, work towards the short edge by doing the same motion, but just slightly overlap your strokes. There's no rush, just take your time. Once the short edge is stuck down, you're right to do the same motion with the rest of it. Just very slowly work your way around, rotate the stump in your right hand. Little by little, there's no rush. If you do accidentally press ahead and cause a bubble like this, just peel it up. and start from the center again and work your way to the top and then to the bottom. The sticker is designed to overlap and sticks to itself. When you're putting the stickers on the stumps, some will line up perfectly, top and bottom. Others may not line up perfectly. This has got nothing to do with how you've applicated these stickers. It's to do with the stump being maybe slightly bigger and only takes half a millimeter to be slightly bigger at this end and not this end. Or sometimes it might be slightly bigger in the middle, which will make your ends be a bit tough to line up. That doesn't really matter. That part is on the side of the stump that you usually won't see. And uh, once the stump goes into the ground, it, um, you won't notice it anyway. The reason why there's a overlap on the stump sticker is so that once it's finished, it's really sticking to itself. Just in case the stump still is a bit dirty or it's a really old stump, this will ensure you'll get a really nice secure fit around the stump. Um, so it won't come off. Even if the stump starts to break down, generally you'll find that the sticker will actually hold it together because of that overlap. Okay, so that's how you wrap a stump really easily with our stump sticker jig and our super awesome stump stickers. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and we'll catch you in the next video.